Welcome back to class here on this middle school music session. That's music with an IQ because we dropping that knowledge. FMP Radio Chicago, keeping it 100, brought to you in part by FU2, forever united together. And the fine folks at My Killer Gravy, makers of the finest motherfucking gravy around. It's 49 yes. past the hour. You're kicking it with me, Gino V. And your boy, COVID free, S-T-A-M-P, you. You D. All right, all hey, right. Yeah, I Ready? hope y'all was listening to that song real quick. We do have some guests on, but I definitely we want to reiterate: get out there and vote, man, and and you are able to change these laws. Yes, Just you are. Don't let nobody tell you that your vote don't count, man. Exactly. Definitely. definitely. Yes. Yes. For sure. And uh, without further ado. We are going to let in our interview. We have Miss Lisa Kelly on the line, as well as Anthony McIntyre joining us with the Ant Mile Foundation LLC. So, how I'm waiting for Lisa to unmute, or do I have to do? It? Let me see. Let me ask her to unmute, and then we'll get her on. There it is. There we go. <laughs> how you doing, Lisa? Hiya. I'm doing fine. How are you? <laughs> doing well. Thank you very much. Glad to see you. How about you, Anthony? How's everything going? It's hard on a black man, but I'm going to survive. I hear you. Yeah, church. I could dig that, brother. I could dig that. Thank Good to see you both. Thank you for both. joining us today. We appreciate it. Let me grab my paper here, and uh, we can get started. Um, I know we want to address a few questions, Lisa, right, with you about your brother, R. Kelly, and uh, his situation going on right now inside the uh, Federal Correctional Center here. He's in here. He's here in Chicago, correct? That's the one here. Yeah, he, he's there in Chicago. Yes, yeah. he is. So um, we also got some information before about uh, Robert and how you had come to find out that you were indeed his sister. So can we start there with telling everyone how it is that you came to find out and that you were his, indeed his sister? Well, when he first got in trouble, um, <clears throat> I had a family member. She's a well-known family member. She's all, she, she also used to be a judge. She finally came to me, and she just told us the truth that that's not your cousin, that's your, that's your uh, brother, and he needs your help. Got and me. so ever since then, we, um, uh, Robert and I and Cassandra have been trying to uh, rebuild our relationship. Um, and then he got arrested maybe five months after um, we were talking to him, you know, on the phone and, you know, discussing certain things. He got arrested. Right. Yeah, dig it. And, you know, coming so up. We, go ahead. Sorry. I'm go sorry. Ahead. No, so we we've been going strong for him ever since. Yeah. And you know what? That's one thing uh, in our in our community. Um being, you know, in the in the black community, we had a lot of that where people didn't really know until late that they were actually br siblings. You know what I mean? And that's, the, I mean, that I've seen that happen several times, man. But I'm glad that you had, you did get that chance to know that, you know, okay, this is my brother and y'all doing what y'all doing to get, you know, back in, back into touch or get familiar. That's, that's what's up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of so, um, with, withholding that information, what what made you think, or why do you feel that you you were you were withheld that information for all those years? To be honest, um, because we are a we're a very confidential family, um, I think that one of the reasons is um, there was a relationship, an extramarital relationship that was going on. Um, which I don't have any ill feelings toward anyone, any, you know, anything concerning that things like that happen all the time. Sure, yeah. I'm just glad to, to find out the truth so that we can build from there. Gotcha. That's, that's amen. Let me say that one more. Geek. Amen on that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Definitely. But uh, it's, I mean, like I was going to say, it is good that you are, you know, you guys are building on it and, um, you know, making making it work, man, because we all we got. True that, true that. So what was that feeling like when you found out that you were indeed his sister and, and biologically finding out, you know, that, that this, obviously there's not a blood test just yet, but 
with the information you have, you feel pretty strongly that it's biologically, right? So how does that feel knowing that now that you know that, is there a different feeling you have toward what's going on with your brother? No, just knowing he's a sibling, um, that just makes me just want to support him all the more. That just makes me want to um, keep him encouraged, okay. knowing he's a sibling. Um, because um, the family we come from, we go hard for our siblings. Um, there's nothing that we won't do for our siblings. So that's what we, that's what, that's the way we, we grew up. We're right. a close-knit family. Sure. So we grew up that way. And the, the thing about it is we had always had questions in the back of our mind, you know, because he looks so much like our father. Right. Okay. So. Yeah. So by seeing those little signs, you were like, man, this, this, you know, it's, it's got to be, right? Like, this, just by looking at him, yeah, I can see what you're saying. A lot of resemblance can make you feel even stronger about that opinion as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's correct. That. Yeah. And then uh, what was the relationship like with the father and, and the other family members around R. Kelly and you guys? Well, we loved our father. He was just a, he was a, he was a great father. He had his setbacks because of um, the secrets that he kept concerning Robert, but other than that, before all of, you know, because we were just wondering why is it that this man is developing an alcoholic problem, you know, alcoholism? Why is it, you know, he is not like that. He's a hard worker. He was a home builder. Um, he was a pastor. Um, so it was something going on with him. And now, you know, after all these years, we finally realized, okay, that's the problem, the secret. Ah, okay. Definitely, definitely. Gotcha. And then uh, with those secrets and those influences around you, how do you feel that 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 influenced the relationship with with R. Kelly, with, you know, with him? Like, how did that how did those relationships, you know, create your influence with your brother? Or affect um, what 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 do you mean? Like that having those relationships with the father, like having those, knowing that those secrets were there, knowing that, mm -hmm. you know, there were those problems that were creating sort of an, an, an issue around things. How did that influence you with R. Kelly? Like, how did that, you know, cause that you, you had to have one set of relationship with him. And then when you found out the information, the relationship grew even more. Right. So how did that influence you with him and being around that influence from the family? Well, to be honest with you, it's not really about influence. Okay. Um, the, the love that I have for Robert is a brotherly love. I look at people deeper than the average does. Sure. You know, mm -hmm. I don't just look at people and say, okay, that's R. Kelly. I never looked at him as R. Kelly. I always looked at him as cousin, you know, family member. Knowing he's a sibling, you know, I look at him and I look at him with love, you know, that that's my brother. He needs help, sure. you know, because all of these things are coming. He needs encouragement. Yeah. Uh, no one, it seems like no one really understands the way he's been crying out in his music. That alone, mm, should yeah. people know that, you know, I have some inner things that, that I need, you know what I'm saying? Right. I need people to mm. understand and know. And, you know, yeah. you have people taking advantage of him. You have people stealing from him you know, that's supposed to be friends. That in itself just makes me want to be able to, you know, Sandra and I to be able to just love him more. Our family just can't wait to meet him. You know, my, my cousin, she just can't wait to talk to him. Because sure. it's a lot of things and a lot of gaps that need to be filled in. And that's what we're Definitely. excited about. I'm not even trying to focus on all this negative stuff that's going on. Right. Yeah, exactly. you abs yeah, you're absolutely right, man. And I mean, like you said, the gaps need to be filled in. And and with you with you saying him crying out in his music, you know what I mean? You could it's, it's like you could tell with certain things that you know, he was asking for help in certain songs like I love the music, but you can hear it. You can hear the pain. You can hear the joy in songs, you know what I mean? And it, it's just it's is dope again that you know y'all y'all getting back or getting to a point where y'all like okay well we are brother and sister let's 
fill these gaps, like you said. So that's that's perfect because family is is the most important thing. <clears throat> and when you're in a situation like that, and you don't think you have somebody, but you come out like you and your sister doing, and to let a person know, hey, look, we got your back. You know what I mean? That is beautiful. And that's exactly right. Right. That's exactly the only reason we revealed ourselves is because he needed our assistance. He needed our support. He needed our love. And so we were willing to take all the negativity that, you know what I'm saying? The the lies, you know, (laughs) all the things that people saying, because as long as he knew we're here for you, we showing up at every court date. We just want you to know we have love for you. We believe in you. And we know this is some, you know what going on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no doubt. You free, to, look, you free to say it. You free to say it. Right. Speaking, yeah. We know this is a conspiracy uh, setup. And I just got some information, you know, and I wanted to share that with you all. It's just uh, so much going on. And I guess the main thing is I, I so appreciate the people that started looking deeper and saying, wait a minute. Okay. Times are not adding up. Dates are not adding up. Okay, something is not right. I'm, I just appreciate the supporters. They just kept on going going hard. You know, when we came to Chicago, they just really showed us love. Nice. And I just appreciate it. Now, I'm seeing that this guy that attacked him, you know, is saying that he attacked him because the government told him to attack him. That's the, sta- that's the statement that's being put out by the Chicago Sun-Times. Wow. Yeah, we heard about that uh, going around that he got uh, jumped in inside of the prison and uh yeah now you're saying that the person is saying they were told to do it even so that's this is the statement that's been put out that he was told he wanted to expose the corruption of the government huh okay and that's you know what that is that is definitely believable you know what i'm saying like because the speaking of that help and and then and uh him being in prison, I'd like to now bring in uh, Anthony McIntyre because uh, he plays a part in this in this instance of the case side of things. So, Anthony, why don't you explain to us what it is that, you know, you're doing for the case and to help Lisa Kelly with her brother's situation? Oh, I think he's Hold, on, Hold on, let me yeah. unmute him. Hello. Okay. Did you hear me, sir? No. Okay. I was asking, um, Lisa was mentioning about uh, R. Kelly needing the assistance right now, needing the support. And with the case, of course, him just being uh, jumped in jail. And uh, now we find out from the Chicago Sun-Times that it was uh, the government was uh, had had told the person who did it to do it. So we want to bring you in to explain how you're helping Lisa with her brother's situation and, and what your role is with this situation. Well, I, um, I don't know. For those who haven't been made aware, I am the uh, founder and president of a nonprofit organization, the Ant Mile Foundation. Um, Ant Mile Foundation, uh, you know, we have four pillars, education, economic development, entrepreneurship, and legal justice. Legal justice is where this, that's the connection here. Um, we focus a lot on criminal justice reform. Um, the criminal justice system in this country, um, <laughs> I don't know how to properly describe it, but it's not pretty. Um, I'm somebody who was adversely affected by it. You know, I was convicted of a crime I didn't commit, first degree murder. I did 19 years in prison for that crime that I did not commit. So going through that process, I had a first, you know, upfront seat of, you know, the way the system is set up. Um, So when I think about what's going on with uh, with Robert, um, first of all, you know, the thing that sticks out to me the most without me knowing all of the super details of the case um, I do realize that it's Eighth Amendment rights are being violated, right? Um, the Eighth Amendment gives everyone um, the right to uh, bail, and he's been denied that right. Uh, and when you think of someone with the charges that he's facing, I say again, I don't speak to the, the guilt or innocence of anything, because that's what the trial is supposed to determine. 
And right now, right. as far as the Constitution says, he's innocent until proven guilty. Until proven, right. Yeah. So since he hasn't been proven guilty, then he's innocent. So with that being said, I'm going to treat it like that. So he has a right to a bail, and he's been denied it, the opportunity. Um, the only way that he would be denied a bail legally is if he was a threat to society, thought he was a, I don't know, he was going to go around and kill a bunch of people, or you thought he would flee. Um, in this country, our system has these things called uh, ankle monitors, where if they wanted to just be sure that the person was going to go anywhere, I mean, you put the monitor on them and you can track where they are. Exactly. Um, but at that point, he would be free, home, and he would have a better opportunity to participate in his own defense. Right now, he's not able to participate in his defense properly. Why? Because his attorney can't even go in and see him and have free conversation with him the way he would want to. Right. Um, there are so many aspects to the case that you only are really going to get the details of by sitting down with Robert. You know, everything else is a lot of what this person said or that person said, but you really do need to sit down with him right. so you can properly put a defense together. So when you think about the Ant Mile Foundation, we want to make sure that, you know, and we, it's not the celebrity of it either, because I think this is the first uh, quote unquote celebrity that we've dealt with. But we're equal opportunity in our group. Uh, we don't discriminate against people based on um, them having no money nor do we discriminate against people who have a lot of money, right? So with that being said, it's very necessary that this foundation get in and support and help R. Kelly with his situation just because it's the right thing to do. Sure. Definitely, definitely. Yes, I can see that. Definitely a, a good thing, yes. And they, they, you know what it is. I mean, I'm glad you did bring up the Eighth Amendment and everything, but it, it's crazy how they treat us as minorities versus these other cats. You know what I'm saying? Versus the 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 white cats that's out there that's done way worse things. Or, I mean, they've even been convicted of several things, but they treat us so wrong. You know what I mean? And they are definitely, definitely doing him wrong, man. And we need to we de we need to change that man we definitely need to change that and that's why we always we stay on voting you know what i mean get out there and know these people that you voting on and don't just check the boxes man because this could be you in this situation for those of you out there listening this could be you in this situation man sure definitely so wow. lisa is there any way that if anyone's listening how they can support or or help you in your efforts to uh, to help with your brother's situation. Yes, they can. It'll be. Uh, we have a fundraiser for the from the Kelly family. Uh, www dot kelly's for the number four justice dot org. Gotcha. Okay, and we'll post that for you as well on our social media, and that's Kelly's with an S, right? Kelly's mm -hmm. the number four. The number justice. four. Yes. Justice. Kelly's for justice.org. Or, yep. Perfect. Definitely. Perfect. And, you know, I need to clarify something before sure. they take it and run with it. Please when I do. said that Robert is like his father, meaning women love my father. Tell He's talented. He played the piano, he okay. played um, the guitar, right. and he was a pastor. Gotcha. So I would need to clarify that. Um, his secret drove him to drinking. Okay. So, but people like to try to take things and run with it and twist it around. I'm not going to say anything against my brother because I love him. I'm here to support mm -hmm. him. And I'm not going to say anything against him. That's never mm -hmm. going to happen. Definitely, definitely. So I just wanted to clarify that. No I know problem. how busy people's minds are. <laughs> you right. Yeah, they definitely be taking it all <laughs> over the place. Yeah, yeah definitely. Sure do. Just sometimes, to get views. Right, exactly. And, uh, yeah, sometimes we just got to – take it slow and explain it to them so they can understand. And that's perfect. Well said. And we just look, uh, look forward to the best. Wish you the best. Is there anything else that I can leave with? Oh, I see Anthony raising his finger. Yes, sir. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me get you back in here. And uh, Anthony had that church finger up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think uh, a lot of times when, when I guess these type of, uh, opportunities present themselves to uh to get on the 
on, 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 on airways and, and sort of uh, address issues as you see fit. Um, in many cases, uh, you know, people won't do the most basic and simple thing of saying thank you. So I think uh, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to you two, FMP Radio, and, um, you know, a lot of people are, don't have the, uh, the necessary bravery that is required to uh, allow for this subject to get on the table. A lot of people feel some kind of way about it on both sides. Sure. Um, what I would ask everybody to think about is um, every single person listening to my voice right now, um, you've been lied on, right? You've been stabbed in your back. Sure. You most likely have been betrayed by those closest to you. Yes, sir. Please don't be so quick to believe something that you hear or see because just, you know, until I got in the 10th grade, I tell people this all the time, until I got in the 10th grade, I would have fought you if you told me that Columbus didn't discover America. Right, I got it. Well, that was because it was in the books. <laughs> and if it was in the books, it must be true, right? Right. Oh, yeah, but it wasn't true. Exactly. So just because something is in the news and the media coming from uh, social media, whatever, doesn't necessarily make it true. Exactly. If they lied exactly. on you before, true. they could lie on Robert. And yeah. we got to let this play out the way it needs to in court, because that's the time that you have the greatest opportunity to then judge the right or the wrong of it, the truth of the matter. So everybody listening to my voice, just please just pump the brakes. Don't don't jump the gun and just. Just be patient. And yeah, uh, thank definitely. you for the FMP radio. And yes. um, that's all I want to say. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Hey, gratitude, brother. Straight up and down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Appreciate that's, it. I, mean, I, that's I agree with him. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you you sit back and they, they put things. And Malcolm X said this once. He was like, you know why they, wanna, why they want you to think black people can't unite? Because they don't want black people to unite. You know what I'm saying? So they put things in the news to drill you with. And in this case, they putting all this negativity in the news and not letting people have the, the truth, having the facts about everything. You know what I'm saying? So and you, you said something that was that was definitely true, man, is let it play out. You know what I mean? So that I mean, salute to you, my brother. Salute to you, my sister. Straight up. Yeah, I, I agree with Anthony. I, I appreciate FNP. I appreciate all Robert's supporters. I have a, I, I just have one quick thing to say, you know, sure, sure. Um, I would ask people to start, you know, to continue to ask questions. You know, why hasn't yeah. Robert received bond? You know, all these manufactured charges, social media right. has deemed him guilty. So how can he receive a fair trial? Right. You know? Yeah. Right. If you are. Where's the evidence? Judgment. All we right. see is some old tape that's from 20, 10 or 15, 20 years ago. Right. That's been altered. I don't know how many times. So my question is with everything. And then to add to this, someone attack being attacked, you know, him being attacked by someone that was actually sent by the government. Yeah. Like you said, ask right. questions. Very well said. Wow. I would agree. Totally. Ask questions, get information, right? The more knowledge, the more power you have. Just don't go off of social media. That is not the place to look for sometimes relevant, you know, information because things get twisted, as you say, and, you know, and obviously can be twisted when it comes to social media. So get, yeah, get the right information. We appreciate you for letting us help you with this information and getting this out there because, uh, you know, we just want to see the right thing done. And again, not because of who he is or the status of his bank account. It's more because it's a person, a human being that should be allowed fairness, should be allowed the right treatment. And uh, if we can help do that, then then by all means, we are grateful as well. So yes. thank you for and letting me we, we, The yeah. Kelly family thanks you, Gino. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, thank you, you did. <laughs> oh, stamp, stamp. <laughs> <laughs> that's my co-host you didn't get to meet him last time you were in town i'm sorry no i didn't he, he's he's in atlanta actually so this is how we 
do the show together. We use the Zoom okay. platform. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, thank we, you. We appreciate you, man. Definitely appreciate you for your time and for you your voice, you know what I mean? And everything that you're doing, man. Is yes. We definitely appreciate thank you so it. much because this can be you this could be one of you guys on on you know what I'm saying? Exactly. In the same situation. Uh yeah. So, you you that is very true. It could be. And that's how I see it. It could be anybody. It could be anyone that I know. So regardless of who that person is, if it's, if wrong is wrong, let's try to right that wrong. So I'm glad to try. I'm glad to help. So thank you both. Thank you for being thank on you. the show. We're going to let you get back to, to what you was doing. But anytime you need some help, let us know, Lisa. We will do that for you. And again, everybody, go to Kelly's, the number four, justice.org to help out and uh, provide some assistance because he needs our help. He needs all of us. Definitely. So thanks again. You guys have a great rest of your day, okay? Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Right now. All right, y'all.